everyone welcome back to your tech channel and in this video i'll be teaching you how to bypass your active guitar preamp uh, because sometimes when you go for gig you may suddenly be out of power what do you do in that kind of case so that is what we'll be looking at today so uh, this is a system of uh, active guitar it may be lead it may be bass head either way so this is my pickup switch here why this is the main preamp itself this is the power and this is the output section so now we'll be looking at how to include this bypass switch here uh, this switch is three-way switch but it, it has six pin down outside there okay it has six pin let me show you a sample of what i'm saying right here uh, a typical example is this you can see this switch is three-way one the middle and the other side one two three so it's three but the downside is six you can see the pin so this can be very useful in your guitar too because when you are playing imagine you're in a gig playing and suddenly your battery went flat or very very low and you are losing gain you understand you need something that you have in that moment you want to definitely switch to passive and you still continue then later you fix it so how do you run that kind of setup where this can be useful to you so let's look at it oh uh, ordinarily this is the way you're active system works this is the way it works such a way that from your pickup let's say from your guitar itself the main output is coming this way remember your battery is connected everything is perfect so this place is joined directly here why this place is joined directly here but this time just cut it here that is why i, I cut the gap here so run the first one this is your main pin here run the first one this way do you see the way i run it now then run the second one this way too so that means instead of this touching this this is the intermediary there you understand then for the output section you know this is for the input then for the output this side will come this way then this side will go this way now because the way this switch works is this or uh, it works this way and this way that is this is the middle point so if it is a middle not working if you switch it down so since we are using these two side now if we switch it down now what we are simply trying to say is it should run our preamp do you understand now because this and this once you switch it down what i mean is this once you switch it down this way remember the first one is coming to this side why the second one to this side so indirectly all you are doing is you are activating it you understand so this side will loop to this side this side will loop to this side this side will loop to this side so your input will connect to each other then your output section will connect to each other so definitely you are using preamp but let's now look at how to now bypass it when we are losing gain okay so what you want to do is the one coming from your guitar i'm using red now so that you can identify it. so just run it straight the same way but this time around it's going to the hop one then for the output section you come here you run it this way to flow straight to this place this place you are not running anything so what you now do at this place you find wire or anything you want to use bridge the two section together remember that these two side works together hmm? so now this is the middle and this is why i'm saying these two side works together now in that case now when we connect this side these two side have looped together so it's like these two sides since we don't have anything there this side will by default the in the, the, the signal will flow this way then no way to connect but since we've looped this it will now flow up this way from this place it will flow here it will flow here so indirectly we've bypassed this do you see now this is out of our circuit because indirectly this is just sending straight to this pin to this section flowing back to our output so you can see this preamp section is totally out so you can just easily switch so this switch is very very useful when you want to use your bypass switch in your active guitar because power can be very very serious sometimes when you're out of power okay so you can just run this in your guitar i'll do one of a video where i will input this in my guitar and we'll look at the way it really work out all right do it to like and subscribe to this channel see you guys at the other side